All right, so today we're going to show you a little bit about Claro Scan Pin. Um, it's a paid app that's available for both iPad, iPhone, and Android. And it's a, just a quick, simple way to have students take a picture of a worksheet or a page in a book and then have the text read back in three pretty easy steps. Uh, so we're going to show you how it works. Uh, my assistant here has just opened up Claro Scan Pin. Just gonna snap a picture. One says, five. Circle all the common nouns in each sentence. One. Dogs can be great pets and helpers. Two. In our community, some animals assist people with. So as you can see, she just tapped on the sentence and it read each sentence back to her pretty quick and easy. So we're gonna show you a little more about how to use this system. Okay, so we're gonna show you some of the settings that you might wanna look at when using Claro Scan Pin. Um, there are different voices you can select. Um, it will automatically default to uh, United States English, but you can select other uh, accents for English and um, other languages as well, if you so desire. And uh, another thing you wanna look at is the speaking rate. Um, it can be slowed down, and that's kind of recommended for better comprehension. And it will um, default to reading whole lines of text based on where you swipe. And we recommend going with this setting. However, you can also choose to have the whole screen read back to you. You can also choose individual words or groups of words to have read back to you. And lastly, um, it will default to highlighting with green the text that you are selecting. However, you can also change that to other colors depending on your visual needs. So we're going to start with a worksheet to demonstrate uh, how to use the device. The first step is to place the worksheet on a flat surface in good lighting. You're going to stand directly over the document and orient the device to either landscape or portrait depending on the best fit. The shutter button should be oriented on the right side of the screen in both scenarios. If it's not, rotate the iPad vertically to reset the shutter location to the right side. Okay, so place the device directly above the paper, making sure the text is completely square inside the window. For example, uh, you don't want to have any, any of the text skewed um, or kind of vanishing in the distance with like a diagonal orientation. Um, and then place the device as close as possible to capture the text. We recommend, for example, no more than one foot away. Um, if, however, the text is like a high school textbook and the text is really small, the accuracy of the text-to-speech might be poorer, and you might want to hold the device a little bit closer and capture just a portion of the page at a time. Uh, one tip is to use the top line or other horizontal lines on the worksheet as kind of a guide to line up with. Okay, so once you have the image oriented correctly on the screen, you're going to snap the picture. If you're in the portrait, orientation, select the done, or you can select cancel to retake the image. If you're in landscape orientation, you can select the check mark to approve it or the X to retake the image. So we've selected the check mark and now we're going to show you how to use the features. Um, nouns can appear in the complete subject or in the... As you can see, as a quick swipe of the finger will read the text back to you. Uh, you can tap anywhere on the screen to pause the reading. One, dogs can be great pets and helper. When you close the app, all the documents that you've taken pictures of will be deleted. Alternatively, you can use your device's camera app to take a picture of a document that you want to keep and 
then import it into your device's photo library. To import the photo of the document, go back to Claro Scan Pin, tap on the double rectangle icon below the shutter button. So tap on the photo album and then tap on the desired photo and then tap done. The Claro Scan Pin app will appear with your photo or document shown and then tap the check mark or done to verify. And as with any app, always consider this option. If it is glitching, try closing the app and restarting it. That usually will take care of the problem.